Sometimes when editing code, we have to move lines around. And to do this, I'm going to define the following shortcuts. So to move the current line down, I'm going to use Ctrl K shortcut. And to move the current line up, I will use Ctrl L. And right after sourcing this configuration file, if we'll try to move the current line by pressing Ctrl K to move it down or Ctrl L to move it up, we can see that the line is moving. But in this way we can only move individual lines. But what if we need to move the whole statement, for example the whole if block. And to do that, JetBrains ID also provides us with comments. I'm going to bind keyboard shortcuts to those comments. So to move the whole statement down, I will press Ctrl I. And to go into opposite direction, I'm going to use Ctrl O keyboard shortcut. Once again, let's source new changes. And now, for example, I have to move the following if statement down. To do this, I can press Ctrl I and the whole if block moves. And to go up, we can press Ctrl O. And as you can see, that surrounding statements also move respectively. Let's try it out once again. For example, I need to move this validate method call. So I only have to press Ctrl I to move down or Ctrl O to move up. And at the end, let's add three similar shortcuts to basically copy paste to the current file quickly. So the first shortcut will be responsible for quickly copying the absolute pass to the current file. And to do this, I will press space C A. Then to copy only the file name of the current file, I'm gonna press space C N. And finally, when I'll press space C P, it is going to copy the path to the current file starting from the project root folder. So let's see if it works. I'm going to try those shortcuts in order. Let's start with the first one. Space CA is supposed to copy the absolute pass to the current file. So once I will paste, right away I am seeing the absolute pass to the current file. So the first shortcut worked. Next one, which is space CN, which is supposed to copy only the file name. And then after pressing P to paste, I can see the file name. This one also worked. And finally, if we'll press space CP, it is going to copy the relative paths of the current file starting from the project root folder. And this one worked as well. Let's continue defining keyboard shortcuts in the next lesson.